Hello and welcome to another strategy video. In this one I'm taking a look at the 100 pip strategy and uh, as you can see I have the dollar Canadian dollar pair in front of you. It's an hourly chart. I also have every 100 pips marked off and this has several variations. You could use longer time frames. So for example if you're like a weekly trader then you might be looking more at like 500 pips. But what you're looking for is large round numbers where traders tend to be attracted to. This is for various reasons, one of which are going to uh, one of which is going to be the fact that they have large positions they're trying to put into the market. So they just start buying at 126, for example. But um, there's also options that come into play, and options affect a lot of um, influence on this uh, spot market. So in this for example, uh, we have a moving average on the chart that is rallying, turning higher, and we also have an impulsive hourly candle. As we have broken above 125, and at this point, I think that uh, you put a, a little bit of a um, stop loss underneath. And now that the market has shown clearly that we are starting to see impulsivity and uh, with that, the market should then go to the next round figure, and that's exactly what happened. We pulled back a little bit. We got another impulsive candle here, a clear sign of strength. Stop loss right underneath 126, and then we aim to 127. You need to have a trend. Beyond that, this does tend to work itself out over the longer term. It works as the market will trend for longer periods of time.